I've always been a very practical person. When given the choice of form or function, I almost always choose function. But what if you didn't have to choose? Sometimes a product comes along that figures out how to give you the best of both worlds. This is the Urban Armor Gear case for iPhone 6. UAG was kind enough to send me this case for review, and in the two weeks that I've used it, I've been very impressed. The first thing that everyone will notice is the screws on the back. While I do think they're functional in fusing the two materials together, they're mainly for looks and they go along nicely with the industrial design of the case. UAG names all their cases based on the color and this blue case is known as Aero. They offer it in five colors but the edge is always black. I do think that a white edge would look better on a white iPhone but I understand that the corners and edges are designed to absorb all the impact and they would definitely show scratches and dirt. The black iPhone looks very sleek in these cases. The case is a one-piece design made from hard polycarbonate and soft TPU rubber. It also features a honeycomb design on the inside for extra shock absorption. To install the phone, you start with the volume button side first and then firmly press each corner in place. It fits very tight and the case doesn't feel stretchy at all. I've pulled on the most flexible piece by the mute switch daily for over a week now and it's still kept its shape. I find the easiest way to remove the case is by starting with the more flexible corner by the mute switch, then sliding down to the bottom left corner and the phone easily pops out. Generally with a rugged case, you either talk about how stiff the buttons are, or you say they're bearable and they're okay. That's not the case here. UAG has included slits beside all of their buttons and it makes them work amazingly well. It feels just like you're pressing the actual buttons and I've never used a case that does this so well. The volume buttons protrude from the case ever so slightly which makes them easy to quickly locate and press. The power button, however, is almost completely flush and although it's still just as easy to press, it can be difficult to locate in the dark or when you're not looking at your case. There are generous cutouts for the headphone jack and lightning connector. Instead of leaving big gaps around these cutouts, they filled the space by bringing the material flush to the phone. This keeps dust and debris out and it looks great. I really appreciate this kind of attention to detail. A screen protector is included with a cutout around the home button and around the earpiece and camera. Although I generally don't like screen protectors, this one's really good. It is the exact width of your screen though, so be careful when installing it because there's no margin for error. It's very smooth to the touch and handles glare just like an iPhone with no screen protector. It handles fingerprints and smudging well and any smudges it does pick up aren't really visible when the screen is on. The real beauty of this case is how thin it is. It measures in at just over 10 millimeters which means it's only adding roughly 3 millimeters to your iPhone. You'd be hard pressed to find a case this thin that provides this much protection. The protection mainly comes from these skid pads on the corners. There's a good chance that if you drop your phone, a corner is going to hit first. There's plenty of padding on the corners and a raised edge that keeps your phone off the table when it's on its back. These skid pads will take all the bumps and bruises for your phone and keep the rest of your case looking great. This means that your phone will lie flat on a table whether on the back or front. It also means that your phone won't slide around easily when you lay it down on a smooth surface despite having a fairly smooth back. UAG cases meet mil-spec standards for drops. This means that they can withstand repeated drops from four feet to the face, back, and corners. I dropped my phone over a half a dozen times from pocket height and texting height with no noticeable damage to the case or phone. Although the case is very thin, I have no problems dropping my phone in this case. The most controversial thing about this case is the cutouts on the back. The UAG representative that sent me the case said the bottom cutout was to see the color of the phone and the top cutout was to allow the Apple logo to act as a mirror. It certainly is reflective, but you're not going to see much more than your eye in such a tiny mirror. However, since they don't put these cutouts on any other case, I have to assume she's right. A number of people have reported using them as grip points when holding the phone. In portrait mode, your index finger naturally falls in the top cutout and when in landscape mode, both middle fingers easily rest in the cutouts. I did find myself naturally placing my index finger in the top cutout when talking on the phone, though it does feel more comfortable to place your finger just slightly above the cutout. The UAG logo on the back has a nice metallic finish, but because of the font choice, it also spells Gen if turned upside down. I had a couple of people ask me what Gen means when they first saw the case, so be prepared for that. I had previously said that it'd be hard to find a case that protects as well as the OtterBox symmetry without adding much bulk in the same price point. Boy was I wrong. This case is definitely my new go-to case for an iPhone 6 recommendation. The only downside would be the industrial look if you don't like that sort of thing. It protects the phone very well, is surprisingly thin, and the included screen protector is really good. They sell for around $30 on Amazon or $35 on UAG's site with free shipping. I'll leave a link to both in the description. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments. I'm usually able to respond to those fairly quickly. 
you've enjoyed this video review, please click the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And as always, thanks for watching.